Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have 2 to the power of 18 minus 2 to the power of 17. And make sure to stick to the end of the video where I have a bonus problem that is similar to this one which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so first off, 2 to the power of 18. This is equal to 2 to the power of 17 plus 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 17 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 17. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, a is equal to 2, m is equal to 17, and n is equal to 1. So now I have 2 to the power of 17 times 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 17. Now from here, I can go ahead and factor out 2 to the power of 17. So now I have 2 to the power of 17 times 2 to the power of 17 times 2 divided by 2 to the power of 17, simply just 2 to the power of 1, minus 2 to the power of 17 divided by 2 to the power of 17 is simply 1. Now 2 minus 1 is going to be 1, so now I have 2 to the power of 17 times 1, which is equal to 2 to the power of 17. Now to simplify 2 to the power of 17, well if I have something in the form, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n, right? and 2 to the power of 17 this is equal to 2 to the power of 9 plus 8. So this would equal 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 8. Now 2 to the power of 9 this is equal to 2 to the power of 4 plus 5 which is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5. So 2 to the power of 4, this is 16, times 2 to the power of 5, this is 32. So now I have 16 times 32 times 2 to the power of 8, this is equal to 2 to the power of 4 plus 4, which is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 4, which is equal to 16 times 16. So I have this times 16 times 16. Now, 16 times 16, this is 256, times 32 times 16, we do this right here, 2 times 6 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus 1 is 19, we got our 0, 1 times 2 is 2, and 1 times 3 is 3. So if I add these, 2 plus 0 is 2, 9 plus 2 is 11, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 1, plus 1 is 5, so I have 512. So I have 256 times 512. Now 2, 256 is the same as 200 plus 56. And 512 is the same as 500 plus 12. So now I can solve this by distributing. First I distribute the 200. So I have 200 times 500 plus 200 times 12 plus distribute the 56. 56 times 500 plus 56 times 12. Now 200 times 500, that's going to be 10 with 4 zeros. Plus 200 times 12, that's going to be 24 with 2 zeros. Plus 56 times 5, that is going to be 280 with 2 zeros. Plus 56 times 12, that is going to be 112 plus 560, which is let me do this right here so you guys can see. 672. Now to add these up, first off, 2400 plus 28,000. That is going to be 30,400. Plus, we still have. Now. 100,000 plus 30,400 is 130,400 plus 672. And this is going to be 131,072. 
So that is our answer. All right, so we have two to the power of 20 minus nine. Now two to the power of 20, this is the same thing as two to the power of 10 squared. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. And in this case, 2 to the power of 20, that's the same thing as 2 to the power of 10 times 2. So this is equal to 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. So I have 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2 minus 9. This is the same thing as 3 squared. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 10, and b is equal to 3. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. Now, 2 to the power of 5, this is equal to 32. 2 to the power of 6, this is going to be equal to double of 2 to the power of 5, which is going to be 64. 2 to the power of 7, this is going to be double of 64, which is going to be 128. 2 to the power of 8, this is going to be double of 128, which is going to be 256. 2 to the power of 9, this is going to be double of 256, which is going to be 512. And finally, 2 to the power of 10, this is going to be double of 512, which is going to be 1024. So now that we have a value of 2 to the power of 10, I add 2 to the power of 10 plus 3 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 3. 2 to the power of 10 is 1024, so I have 1024 plus 3 times 1024 minus 3. Now 1024 plus 3, this is equal to 1027 times 1024 minus 3, this is equal to 1021. Now, 1,027, this is equal to 1,000 plus 27. And 1,021, this is equal to 1,000 plus 21. So now if I substitute these values in, I get 1,000 plus 27 times 1,000 plus 21. Now, to solve this, I have to first distribute. So let me distribute the 1,000s. So I have 1,000 times 1,000 plus 1,000 times 21. Now I have this plus, now I'm going to distribute the 27. 27 times 1,000 plus 27 times 21. Alright, so now 1,000 times 1,000, this is going to be, well, 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. Plus, now 1,000 times 21, that's going to be 21,000, plus 27 times 1,000, that's going to be 27,000. Plus, finally, 27 times 21. We can go do it. Go ahead and do that here. 27 times 21. 7 times 1 is 7. 1 times 2 is 2. Add our 0. 2 times 7 is 14. We're going to carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. So I have 27 plus 5, 40. 7 plus 0 is 7. 2 plus 4 is 6. And we have our 5. So I have 5, 50, 67. So now I have... 1 million plus 21,000 plus 27,000 plus 567. Now, 
21,000 plus 27,000, that is going to be 48,000 plus 567. 48,000 plus 567 is going to be 48,567. And finally, 1,048,567 is going to be 1,048,567. So this is our answer.